Good morning. I am Mani Vinan. I am working as a associate professor at Siddharth Institute of Science and Technology. In this class, we discuss about the machine learning. What is the what is the machine? What is the use of machine learning? The machine learning is a subject of AI that allows a computer system that learn from the data and improve the performance without being the exploitative programs. This is working. Okay. This is called the machine. Machine learning is uh, nothing but the subset of AI. What performance they have done artificial intelligence, artificial intelligence performs. There are four operations. What are the four operations? Main operation means uh, act as a human, think as a human. Yeah, act as a rationally, think, uh, think as a rationally. This type of machine learning will do the perform the, the AI will do the operation. Based on this operation, okay, the machine is nothing I think with the subset of AI. So based on this, we have to work in the machine learning. Okay. So what is machine learning? In this real world, we are surrounded by the humans. You can learn everything from their experience, their learning capabilities. And we have computer or machines work our instructions. Okay. Machine learning is said to subset of artificial intelligence, the mainly concerned with development algorithm, which allows a computer to learn from the data and past experience. Okay, the term machine learning was the first to introduce by the Samuel in the year of 1959. Machine learning enables the machine automatically learn from the data, improve the performance from experience and predict things without being a explicitly programmed. What is the main purpose that using machine learning? Machine learns automatically from the existing data. Okay, already some data is available, periodic data, historical data. So you can learn from the existing data, the machine will be learned. So how will you learn? Based, the, based on the, its performance, okay, put it this, without being exploiting the programmer. Okay, it is called the, one of the machine learning introduction. How does machine learning it work? Machine learning system learns from the historical data. It builds the periodic prediction models where it receives a new data, predicts the output. Okay, so machine learning is how they work means okay, it is based on the historical data. So prediction of model, it receives the new data and predicts the output on it. The accuracy of the predicted output depends upon the amount of data. A huge amount of data helps to build better model which predicts the output accurate. Suppose you have a complex problem, so we need to perform some predictions. Instead of writing the code, just we need to feed the data, generic algorithm with the help of this algorithm, machine will fill their data, predicts their outputs. Suppose in, in case small problem or large problem, whatever you can do, okay, right? so based on the, three, the machine learning, you can perform very well. How they perform very well based on the past experience. So, okay, right? Look at this blow diagram for the machine learning. So uh, do the <clears throat> input to the system. For example, machine learning algorithm for input to the data, past data, you can train and learn from the data. What happened is building, we can create one model, building model, working okay, right? so, logical model. That data you can based on this data we can get the new data why need for machine learning the need for machine learning is to increase the day by day the reason behind the need for machine learning is that capable of doing tasks are that complex person to implement directly as a human have some limitation we cannot access the huge amount of data manually so far we need some computer system here comes machine learning to make things easier. Important of machine learning you can easily understand it is use case. Currently machine learning is for self driving cost, okay, cyber detection, space uh, recognition, uh, fraud section, Facebook's actions. So apart from uh, apart from that Netflix, Amazon, we are using this machine learning. Why do they, they use the increasing the day by day operations? Working in a day by day, a lot of operation you can perform. Working in a the machine learning will do everything. Working in a using self driving cars, fraud direction, face recognition, this type of operation. Facebook also, how they how you understand this concept now? But for example, you are searching some website, Facebook, working in some topics based on working next time you can open now. What happened based on whatever you can search. Okay, we are watching videos. Based on this video, 
next video you can follow okay let's show in your, in your screen so this type of they are using the face recognition also the okay you have to identify the face recognition to enter the room what are the various type of machine learning machine learning there are three types of learning working like basically supervisor and unsupervised and real code. Here we are showing the four. So one is a extra, they are added is a semi supervised. What is the supervised mean? Supervised is nothing but the labeled information. What we need input, what we need output. The type of information called the supervised learning. Here, uh, supervised learning is the type of machine learning method which provides sample label data machine learning okay, in order to train it on the basics. It predicts the outputs. For example, you give the input to the apple, some uh, not only apple, the apple uh, similar item or uh, Canada. This type of uh, give the input, what happened? The brain already give the model based on this model, or uh, we can predict or uh, this is apple or not. Okay, this is a uh, apple or not. This type of learning is called the labeled data. When I will already given the data, this, this type of shape, uh, apple, this type of uh, Apple, uh, okay, orange, everything you can predict. Okay, the goal of the supervisor is to map the input and the output. Okay, man. so the supervisor learning based on the supervision, the same when the student learn things with the supervisor of teacher. The example supervisor learning is sperm filtering. What mainly they use in what I know, they are using the sperm filtering. Supervisor learning classified into two types one is a classification and uh, regression. Why? Okay, next is we discuss the unsupervised. Unsupervised learning nothing but the method machine without any supervision. There is in a, you know, supervision. For example, you are given the input, okay, la. you are given the input, okay, la, apple, and then goa, everything they are given. Okay, la. what happened? We are going to predict the model, okay, la, based on we can separate the model which one is uh, apple, which one is uh, goa. So the uh, machine said with the set of data as not a label here is a not label previous example supervisor is called of this type of apple this type of now goa this type now orange we have to label but this is unsupervised learning there is no label data the goal of the unsupervised learning is a restructure input data in the new features group objects similar patterns okay so I'll give the two categories of the clustering and association for the unsupervised learning Next is semi supervised learning. What is the semi supervised Semi supervised is the type of machine learning that is to represent the intermediate ground of supervised and unsupervised algorithm. So it is possible to label data also, it is undebated also, we are going to use. The type of data is called the semi supervised learning. Machine learning consists of three main categories. Okay, we already know. Okay, now. So the difference between the supervised learning and the supervised learning data sets consists of output label associated with each other. The unsupervised data set not consist the same. Here are the same points. For example, semi-supervised learning. That's the, the small amount of labeled data set, the large amount of data set. We are entering into this uh, machine learning model. What they have got now? The video of Judo labeled output. What kind of this both are combination. Best output la they given. Last one is what is mean by reinforcement. But reinforcement learning is the feedback based learning uh, in which learning agent gets a report of each action. So for, for example, here the dog is sitting, working about if dog is moving to one place to another place, working about what happened? Why they are moving to catch a biscuit? To catch a biscuit. So if a dog move from one place to another place to catch a biscuit means what happen? I give the one reward. So this type of increment based learning. Okay, like increment based learning. So reinforcement is a feedback based learning, which a learning agent gets a reward to each action and gets penalty for the each wrong action. Suppose the dog doing some wrong action of what apple they give the penalty actions the agent learns automatically with the feedback is improve its performance so, you know, based on this uh, uh, feedback it can automatically improve our performance reading for lagging agents react reacts with the environment and explores it so, you know, the goal of an agent of the most 
reward points and hence improve the performance. The dog which automatically runs the movement in exams with the help of reinforcement learning. With the help of reinforcement learning. So reinforcement is nothing but that. It's based on the feedback form. If a um, agent or you know, a dog is an agent, you can positive growth. That is, you can gain the knowledge means you can improve the value. The loss of knowledge is you know, decrease the value. You know, that is a, a introduction to the machine learning.